LWT controversy in Lawrenceburg over a headliner coming to town. Every year the city hosts a summer concert, but the band performing has a name not everyone likes. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer is in Lawrenceburg and explains why a local mother is sounding the alarm. In August, bands will take the stage here for a free summer concert. One of the acts is titled the Confederate Railroad, a controversial title to some, and now the mayor is responding. It's a shocking headliner for this Lawrenceburg mother. I couldn't believe it. Uh, my first thought was how am I going to invite my extended family to this uh, concert? The band for this year's Whiskey City Summerfest in Lawrenceburg is the Confederate Railroad, a name not sitting well for this mother of a six year old and her fiance Marcus. What's the first thing that's going to come to anybody's mind regardless of whether or not they're actually racist or however. Carla Stewart tells us she contacted the mayor and city councilors to voice her concerns about the symbolism behind the title. For a town to hire and put on a band with that name just doesn't make any sense. This is uh, one person has, has reached out and one person uh, obviously has some strong feelings about this. Mayor Kelly Milan says the city hired the Confederate Railroad through a promoter and sees the situation a different way. My mind doesn't go there, <laughs> if, I, if I can say it that way. Kids are the ones that are going to really pay for, for it ultimately. That's where, that's where my mind goes. Milan tells us he will delve into the situation. We will do some more research. But, uh, you know, this band's been around for 40, 40 plus years. Somebody made a very, very big mistake. I just want them to change the band, find somebody else. We did reach out to the Confederate Railroad for comment about the situation, but we have yet to hear back. In Lawrenceburg, Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. And the Whiskey City Summerfest free concert in Lawrenceburg is set for Saturday, August 19th.